I was just blown away yesterday. Rand Paul on the floor of the Senate. He's talking about, you know, well, if we let Section 215 of the Patriot Act expire, uh, he was having this conversation with Joe Manchin, the uh, Democrat from West Virginia. And Joe Manchin said, well, what about the USA Freedom Act? And Rand Paul said, well, that's got a lot of problems, too. And then Joe Manchin said, well, and they were literally having this colloquy. They were having this conversation back and forth on the floor of the Senate in real time in front of the world. I was watching it on C-SPAN. Actually, I was watching it on Senate.gov. I was watching it on the Senate site because I couldn't get into C-SPAN because I was, I was, you know, over at the RT studio. And, I'd, and, and you get in C-SPAN and it says, who's your cable provider and what's your ID? And I don't remember that stuff. So anyway. I'm watching this thing, and Rand Paul says, well, if they all expire, if Section 215 expires, and there is no USA Freedom Act, we're still in good shape. We knew who the 9-11 t- you know, guys were. The FBI knew who they were. They were living with one of them. They knew who these guys were. They just didn't bother to tell the CIA. The CIA had information. They didn't bother to tell the, the FBI. Presumably, that's been solved. We don't need to get the bulk metadata on everybody on Earth to know these things. And then, and then Ron Paul, and then Rand Paul comes out, uh, you know, in, in opposition to uh, to fast track too. I mean, you know, these may be just postures and positions that he's taking to run for president. And there's no way in hell that I would ever vote for Rand Paul for president. He's toxic. He is his his philosophies, his libertarian philosophies, benefit largely the billionaires at the expense of everybody else. But it's like. If you know Republicans, if you have Republican friends, if you have Republicans who are members of your family, tell them to go to Obamatrade.com and read it. And, and you should, too, just to be familiar with the conservative arguments against TPP and all these other insane trade deals that have ripped the guts out of the middle class in America and moved it to China. China ha- has exploded as it, it, they are, you know, they're, they're now... The, the, the largest economy, or the second, second to us, that I, I believe a few, few months ago, they became the largest economy in the world. And why? Because we gave them our jobs. We sent our manufacturing there. And we, did, and we shot ourselves in our own foot. And we started this in, you know, with Reaganism, and it's time to end it. It's time to say enough of Reaganism. 